jungles of Arunachal Pradesh, a wilderness team was sent to capture the Hula gibbon in its natural habitat. The Hula gibbon, or Uluk, belongs to the ape family. It is only found in the deciduous forests of China, Bangladesh, Myanmar, and India. The average lifespan of these gibbons is 30 years in captivity. A male Hula gibbon is recognized by his black fur and a white strip above his eyes, while the female gibbon is recognized by her pale color fur with shades of tan. The gibbons locomote mainly by using their arms. They are mostly found on trees and rarely come down the ground. Hula gibbons are primarily omnivorous and consume various types of plants, insects and birds eggs. The various activities of the gibbon during the day include feeding, resting, foraging, travelling, with the rest of the day spent in other activities such as calling, territorial behaviour and play. Territories are defended through disputes usually led by the group's adult male. Intergroup encounters occur often and usually consist of vocalization and counter vocalization with the males chasing one another. Grooming is often seen during group social activities and it serves in the maintenance of social bonds. Mating usually occurs during the summer season with birds during the winter. Gestation occurs for around 6 to 8 months followed by the birth of a single offspring. For the first 2 months, the infants cling on the mother's belly. The infant starts showing signs of independence at age 6 to 8 months. However, the bond is so strong between the mother and child that the infant continues sleeping with the mother until the birth of a new infant. The infants emigrate from their group when they become mature adults. Out of all the gibbons, the hulaks have the most haunting call. The call of these gibbons are not sex specific, a fact that differs them from all other species of gibbons. Calls are usually uttered during long call bouts or duets and occur mainly in the morning. Once calling commences, call bouts are often responded to by other hulak gibbons throughout the forest. Functions of calling include the maintenance of pair bond, mate attraction, defense, mate solicitation, territorial reinforcement and the maintenance of social ties. I've been studying the behavior and activity patterns of hula gibbon. So the gibbon which you see here, it's Eastern hula gibbon and which is the only lesser ape which is found in India. And here this is a village called Delo and it's situated in the lower Dibang Valley district of Arunachal Pradesh. And here this is a village and it's mostly inhabited by a tribal community called Idus. And here you'll find at least uh, 18 families of hula gibbons. They do live in small patches of forest. They mainly depend on the vegetation, but actually they are omnivorous. They do feed on small uh, insects, small birds, and uh, the leaf matters and fruits like that. They do live in small families. A family consists of at least uh, two to four members, mainly one uh, male, one female, and infants, or maybe juveniles. So uh, their relation is like very strong and they do meticulously follow the you know, strict male-female relation till the end of their life. And they do always have, they do always keep one territory like uh, 0.5 to 4 kilometer. So each family has their own territories and they do move in this particular area during the daytime and uh, mainly for feeding and all other activities. The afternoon around 3.30 they'll go to sleep and it's like very, uh, you know, you'll find them like they're very different from all other monkeys and they do uh, prefer very heighted trees like emergent trees you can say uh, they'll see uh, they'll stay in the emergent trees so they, sometimes they do feed on the same tree and they'll sleep on the same tree itself so now here this is the situation as you can see here in Delo this uh, village it's uh, I mean a lot of people are coming from outside also so the agriculture is also expanding so now the area has got scattered and there the patches of uh, trees you'll find here and there so now they have to depend on these small patches of trees for their uh, living so now uh, they are facing some threat from the human as well as from the dogs like that so due to these disturbances from the department 
from the department it's like a project is going to start that is the translocation of this eastern hulagi band from this particular village to the sanctuary uh, we we'll, we are planning to start the capturing thing so we'll be cap capturing them soon and we'll be releasing into the forest and then after that we'll be monitoring for them to see whether they are surviving or not in that particular area The hula gibbon has been listed as one of the 25 most endangered primates in the world. The hula gibbons are protected by law in India, making it illegal to kill or capture this species. The reasons for habitat destruction and degradation are logging, bamboo harvesting, tree bark extraction, road construction, fuel wood extraction, mining, quarrying, livestock grazing and intensive agriculture. Other factors include hydroelectric projects railways oil drilling irrigation and encroaching human settlements certain agricultural methods such as zooming lead to widespread deforestation and habitat destruction gibbons are also occasionally killed by dogs when they come to the ground some of the proposed steps for conservation of the gibbons are restoration of degraded landscapes combining efforts made by the government industry ngos and communities in the northeast india increasing and nationalizing existing protected area network and protected area management it is important to ensure the enforcement of these goals for the protection of this incredible species and to prevent them from disappearing from the surface of the earth